All right, Larry Kruger here with the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show 49er video. Check out Pig and a Pickle. They've got two locations. They're in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week in Marin from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. They're open Wednesday through Sunday in Emeryville. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Well, the schedule release uh, for the NFL has come out. The 49ers schedule is out for the year, and Let's take a look at some of the pros and the cons, some of the good and the bad of the 49ers schedule. Now, week one, the Niners open at Heinz Field against the Steelers. Now, this on paper is not good. Uh, it's a rough opening to the season. Why? Because since Heinz Field opened, the Steelers are 15 and two in their home opener. And that includes an eight and one record when their home opener comes in week one. So they're almost an unbeatable team in, at the beginning of the year. Now, the Rams, the Niners play the Rams in L.A., um, which there'll be a lot of Niner fans down there in week two. That's not the toughest game because the Shanahan's owned uh, the Rams and, and Sean McVay. Then the Niners get the New York Giants in week three and a Thursday nighter at home. I think I really believe those Thursday night matchups very much favor the home team. So having the Giants, a good football team, rolling in in a Thursday nighter early in the year, I think that's advantage 49ers. The other advantage the 49ers get is they get Arizona in week four with Kyler Murray out. Murray is expected to be out until week five, and so the Niners are likely to get Colt McCoy and the Arizona Cardinals at home in week four. So it's a, it's a tough start to the year at Heinz Field, but then – at Rams, home against Giants, home against Arizona, um, those are a little bit easier. Uh, then it's Dallas in Week 5, national TV, Sunday night football. That's going to be a great game. Should be very interesting to watch that one. They get the Browns in Cleveland in Week 6. That's tough because the Browns are, are a much better team in Cleveland than they are when they go out on the road. So that could be a tough game right there. The other game that I think is is really a tough game is week seven against the Vikings. That's when that one's in Minnesota and the Vikings are a super tough. That's a loud dome stadium. That's a tough place to play. The Vikings are not a great team on the road, but they're really good at home. They went eight and one at home last year. So that Monday nighter in week seven against the Vikings is a very, very difficult matchup. Um, as far as. You know, the 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 toughest game of the year is December 3rd in Philly, which is week 11 or week 13, I should say. Uh, the one advantage the 49ers have in that one is that the week prior in week 12, they play on a Thursday. So they they play at Seattle on Thanksgiving night. And this is the first week after Thanksgiving and they get the Eagles. So they will have 10 days to prepare for what is going to be on paper their toughest game of the year, December 3rd, at the link against the Eagles. So that's good. You want to make sure you have some, some extra time to prepare for that one. Also, the 49ers only have really two cold weather games that I can see on the schedule. They play in December. The game we're talking about, December 3rd in Philly, should be a cold night in Philadelphia in December. And then they play the Commanders on uh, New Year's Eve day in Maryland. And, you know, that game could be a cold weather game as well. So they really only play two cold weather games. Um, the real tough part is that the beginning of the year, which you may have to go without Brock Purdy, and you've got Colton McKivitt stepping in for Mike McGlinchey. And look at the pass rushers that are on the schedule early in the year. You know, week one, T.J. Watt and the Steelers. Week two, Aaron Donald and the Rams. Week three, Kayvon Thibodeau uh, and 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 uh, Aziz Oshilari for uh, for the New York Giants. Um, week four, you got the rookie B.J. Oshilari, Aziz's brother, but he's a hell of a pass rusher. Uh, week five, you get Micah Parsons and the Dallas Cowboys and all the rush that they can put on you. They've got a killer rush. Um, you know, that's the first five weeks. And then week six, you get Miles Garrett. So, I mean, that is no picnic to start the year. TJ Watt, Aaron Donald, Kayvon Thibodeau, BJ Ojolari, Micah Parsons, Miles Garrett, all in the first six weeks of the year. Daniil Hunter, if you want to go week seven in Minnesota. Uh, and then you got the Hendrickson, um, you know, Trey Hendrickson in Cincinnati 
in week eight. So, I mean, they, they're going to face in the first couple months of the year, some, pro, some, some primo, primo pass rushers. Um, you know, the Niners do not, they get the week, the week nine buy, which I think is ideal. You don't want a week. You don't want an early buy. You don't want a late buy. You want to buy in the middle of the season. If possible, they get the week nine buy. And they get the week nine by before they play on the road against Jacksonville. So that should negate that cross country travel. Um, so I kind of like that. I kind of like the week nine by. I think it's it's perfectly timed. Um, the Niners don't see the Seahawks until week 12. Now, I don't know if that's going to be an advantage or disadvantage, but it could definitely be a blessing or a curse. I mean, Seattle is is, you know. Who knows? I mean, they played the Rams early once and they play the Rams late. They play Arizona early. They play Arizona late, but they play Seattle in week 12 and week 14. So if Seattle gets off to a hot start and and hits the skids, uh, you know, later in the year, advantage Niners. Or if Seattle gets off to a cold start and then gets it going late in the year, advantage Seahawks. So that that one's kind of interesting to keep an eye on. Which Seahawk team will they get? because they get them twice in a three-week stretch with the Eagles in the middle. And I would say there is one lucky break um, that they really got in this thing, and that was getting the national TV Christmas nighter uh, against the Ravens in Santa Clara and not Baltimore. The Ravens are a great home team. They're not nearly the same team on the road. And I looked this up. The Ravens in the last 10 years have won 78% of their home games in the last decade, but they've only won 43% of their road games. So you much, much prefer, especially if you're getting the Ravens in December, this is going to be on Christmas night, December 25th. If you're going to get the Ravens in December, you much prefer to play them in, in uh, Santa Clara in your own stadium than to have to travel across country into their lion's den and and play them in their place where they seemingly always have a 14 nothing first quarter lead. So, number of interesting elements to the schedule this year and of course the Niners finished with the Rams. So they get the Rams, you know, the interesting thing thing about the end of the year is that, you know, first of all, Baltimore Lamar Jackson's been hurt a ton the last 2 years. Is he even going to be there on Christmas for that for that Niners game? Um, Kyler Murray has been hurt a lot. He may not be there at, in week 15 when the Niners play the, the Cardinals, which means they would miss Kyler Murray both times. Um, the Niners get Washington, um, at, you know, late in the year and Washington, you know, Washington's quarterback situation is, you know, one of the, one of the, you know, they're probably have one of the, the quarterbacks in the league that has the least, uh, experience. They have they have one of the, the the most inexperienced quarterbacks in the entire league, um, and and you know so how are they? Who's going to be quarterbacking the the uh, Commanders late in the year? I mean that that's a question. Right now, their number one quarterback Sam Howell. So is it going to be Sam Howell? Is it going to be Jacoby Brissett? Is Jake Fromm going to be playing that game? And then you know as much as Matthew Stafford has been hurt. You know, is Stafford going to be healthy in week 18 when the Niners play the home game against the Rams? You know, he might be, uh, but there's a very good chance that he won't be just based on his health. So the 49ers could be looking at, you know, Stetson Bennett or Brett Rippon or, you know, one of these guys with the Rams. I mean, it's either Rippon or or Stetson Bennett. Uh, They could be looking at a backup quarterback with Washington. They could be looking at a backup quarterback with Baltimore. They could be looking at a backup quarterback with Arizona. So on paper, you know, December looks pretty daunting, but just with some reasonable quarterback injuries, um, you know, if you said who, which, which quarterbacks are likely to, to be hurt, you know, and, and you can pick any quarterbacks in, in all of football. I think I would probably go with Lamar and Kyler and Stafford really high on the list of guys who potentially could be hurt. And Sam Howell's never played a full season in the NFL. So, I mean, he's a young player. So, I mean, you, you're finishing with some quarterbacks that, yeah, if Lamar's there and playing great, if uh, somehow Sam Howell has got things heated up and, you know, maybe Stafford is needs that game at the end of the year. And, you know, maybe Kyler, 
misses the first five weeks but stays healthy the rest of the year. December could look more daunting, but there's a very good chance that the Niners could get some backup quarterbacks down the stretch. So interesting schedule. It starts tough with Pittsburgh. The big news is December 3rd is the game in Philly at the link, and the Niners will have 10 days to prepare for that one. Um, and they get the Ravens in December at home. Uh, and and not a lot of cold weather games. And uh, the travel's worse than it was a year ago, but it's not as bad as it's been in some years. So overall, I would say interesting schedule, um, some positives, some negatives, and uh, bring it on. Bring it on. Niners Steelers week one uh, with either uh, Trey Lance or Sam Darnold likely a quarterback against the uh, the Steelers in a, in a matchup that they have owned more times than not. But it should be an interesting year nonetheless, and uh, it's always interesting when the schedule comes out. I won't go down the list and go, there's a win, there's a loss, there's a win, there's a loss. We won't do that futile exercise because it is futile. But um, a number of interesting elements to uh, consider when you're looking at that Niner schedule. All right. Hope you enjoyed the 49er video. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being a proud sponsor of the Krug Show. And thanks to all of you for uh, supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.